chapter 5, subtopic 5.3, vector product. After this lesson, students should be able to find the area of parallelogram and a triangle. Area of parallelogram. So, if two side vector of triangle are given as vector A and B, so the area of a triangle a, B, D, here is our triangle. It is equal to 1 over 2 magnitude A, magnitude B, sine theta. So this one can be written as half of magnitude A cross B. Why? Because of, as we know before, sine theta is equal to magnitude A cross B. B divided by magnitude vector A times magnitude vector B. Therefore, magnitude of vector A cross B is equal to magnitude vector A, magnitude vector B sine theta. So this is actually our magnitude of A cross B. Then, the area of our parallelogram is actually 2 times triangle ABD. So, it is equal to magnitude of A cross B. So, so the formula for area of triangle is half of magnitude A cross B and the formula for area of parallelogram okay, so the area of parallelograms is equal to a magnitude of A cross B so this is the formula so now let's check the example Example 4. Given a point A, 3, 2, negative 1. A point B, negative 1, negative 1, 2. And point C equal to 1, negative 3, 2. Find a vector which is perpendicular to AB and AC. Then, hence, find the area of a triangle a, B, C. Try to illustrate our question given. So, given the point A is 3, 2, negative 1. So, this is point B, negative 1, negative 1, 2. And we have another point which is C, 1, negative 3 and 2. The AB is AB, which is point B, negative 1, negative 1, 2, minus with point A, 3, 2, negative 1. So the answer is negative 4, negative 3, and 3. So A. C, but the AC, so it is equal to point C, 1, negative 3, 2, minus with point A, 3, 2, negative 1. So the answer is negative 2, negative 5, 3. A vector which is perpendicular to A, B and A, C. So the answer is a vector which is perpendicular to A, B and A, C is vector A, B cross vector A, C. So first of all, we need to find vector A, B cross A, C. 
similar to our example before AB cross AC. So once again, write down our vector in uh, in terms of determinant of matrix. So AB equal to negative 4, negative 3, and 3, negative 2, negative 5, and 3. Is equal to I minus J plus K. So the first determinant is cancel the first row, first column. We have negative 3, 3, negative 5, 3. The second row, the first row, and the second column is negative 4. 3, negative 2, 3, and the last one is, the last one is, cancel the first row and the third column, we have negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 5. And then simplify the answer, we have 6i plus 6 j plus 14 k so what is actually our area of abc so now we have point a point b and point c so we already have vector ab and ac so the area of triangle ABC is actually equal to half of the magnitude of AB cross AC. So this is our area of triangle. So it's equal to half of magnitude AB cross AC is 6 square plus 6 square is equal to half of 2 times 67. So the area of triangle ABC equal to 67 unit square. Now, check the second question B. The question B is the position vector of D. So, we need to find a position vector of point D in which ABC is a parallelogram. Hence, find the area of the parallel parallelogram so we have two points there the first one we need to define the position vectors of point d and the second one is uh, find the area of parallelogram this is point a this is point b this is point c so now where is our d so it's supposed to be a B, C, D. So D is somewhere here. So this is our parallelogram. Here we want to find position vectors of D. So area of parallelogram shows that DC, vector DC is parallel to vector a b okay d c is equal to a b so how to get d c okay now we want to find the position vector for point d so it always refers to the origin so assuming that there is a there is origin here 
So to find the DC, so we have here D to origin plus origin to C equal to vector AB. It is OC minus OD is equal to AB. So therefore, OD is equal to OC minus with AB. So OC is equal to 1, negative 3, 2, and vector AB, just now we find the AB, which is negative 4, negative 3, 3. So the answer is uh, equal to 5, 0, and negative 1. So the position vectors of OD is equal to 5. I minus A. So this is position vector of point D. Then the last part is find the area of parallelogram A, B, C, D. The area of parallelogram A, B, C, D is actually equal to, so this is area of parallelogram A, B, C, D, so area of A, B, C, D is two times area of A, B, C. So it is equal to two times. So as we know before, the area of A, B, C equal to 67. So therefore, the area of parallelogram is two times is Two times two sixty-seven unit square. So this is area of parallelogram A, B, C, and D. Before we end up our class, do this exercise and submit to your lecturer.